Right, I thought I'd do a very quick video on how uh, to fix the uh, the chain lubricator on a steel chainsaw. Uh, most chainsaws are the same. Um, the rest has got a little tank on on one side, and that feeds through on a pipe uh, to this side, um, and that comes gets blocked up with um, sort of sawdust and that sort of stuff. So it's all part of it. So first off, you need a 19 mil socket, and you're just going to remove this out of it. And that's just got those two and then you need to pop pop it off the body and it comes off and you see this one's absolutely caked in sawdust um the inside's not too bad i've cleaned that up recently but and then just a case of giving the bar and the chain a bit of a wobble and removing that okay with the case um off and the chain out of the way you can see this little indent here is where the oil comes from from the tank and you can see on mine that is pretty full with, uh, with sawdust and whatnot in there so I'm gonna get that out give that a good clean because as you can see it's all dry around there there's been absolutely no no oil coming through there for a little while I have sort of been counteracting that by just oiling the chain itself but I'm not sure that's good practice for a very long time Well now I've cleaned out the, the main bit of rubbish out of there, you can see there's just the indentation there and the hole itself is there. So I've just got a piece of wire and I'll poke that through, give it a little root around and I very much doubt this will cure the problem but it might just take something or loosen something up in there. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over. This is where you put your chain oil in. I'm just going to empty most of that out. And in here there's a little filter that does get blocked up. It doesn't have to be completely empty, it's just so that you don't cause a mess everywhere. And just remove the be able to see just in the bottom of that there is a very small filter and that obviously gets blocked up you can see the oil around the outside of this and that's sort of got coagulated or whatever let's just block that so we have to blast some air through the other side so obviously you can't get to the filter in that side the, the um, pipe's not long enough so I'll flip it over and you can either Get an air compressor and just put some compressed air through there or if you don't have it um, you can do it like i'm about to and get some pressure up on a, on a bike um, bike tire pump okay so i've got my bike pump and i'm just going to put that over the end of this so i know that the air comes out of that one because i just tested it with my finger and it's quite forced there so i'm going to put it over the end and hold it down and that should fire some air through. Now, if that's not enough, you can either get a bit of blue tack or I'm gonna use a bit of chewing gum just to seal this little hole here because the hole is there and there's a little track there. And that's just gonna give me sort of a very quick gasket and you should be able to hear the pressure change in that. And it's a lot harder to push. Should just be a case of peeling that off obviously put that in the bin not back in your mouth and then we will start it up and see if it's made a difference so next up got to pour the oil back in make sure you got enough in there to cover up the filter slide that in have enough now to start that up
and uh, put the blade back on, which is just a reverse procedure of how we took it off. But quick, simple, and uh, always worth checking that you're getting oil on your blade before it gets too hot. If not, you'll rip through your, your chains and rip through um, your arms as well. Hope it's been helpful. Right, so I've now put the bar and the chain back on, and I've got my 19 mil, and I'm gonna need a, a flat head to tighten up as well. So these aren't as tight as they could be, still a bit of play in them, and I've got the blade vaguely, uh, sorry, the chain um, vaguely on there. So I'm just gonna tighten them up a little bit, just nip them really, and you'll see the chain's still quite loose. And if you turn it saw like that, you'll see there is a um, flathead screw, and that is just for tightening up the, um, the chain tension. So as I tighten that, you should be able to see loosen it or I can tighten it and it will pull the chain in onto the bar and you want to set that so that it sort of springs and it pulls itself back it wants to sit on there so that's probably not too bad there you can just pull it off it's not it's not ridiculously tight but it can spring back on and then just tighten these up lock it all in place Check it again, make sure it runs nice and freely. Easy peasy.